today we will be replacing the charge port on an iPhone 6. Be sure to use the works repair mat to keep all screws organized. Some screws have the same size but different lengths and can be easily misidentified during reassembly. Before disassembling your iPhone, be sure it is powered off. Remove the two pentalobe screws to the lightning connector. Press a suction cup onto the screen just above the home button. Be sure the cup is completely on the screen to get a tight seal. While holding the iPhone down with one hand, pull up on the suction cup to lightly separate the front panel assembly from the rear case. Be sure to take your time and apply firm, constant force. The display assembly is a much tighter fit than most devices. With a plastic opening tool or a metal blade, begin to gently pry the rear case down away from the display assembly while you pull up with the suction cup. Do not try to completely remove the front panel assembly from the rear case, as there are several ribbon cables still attached at the top of the iPhone. During the next few steps, until you remove the front panel assembly, keep it supported at a 90 degree angle in relation to the rear case. Remove the following five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. Three 1.2 millimeter Phillips screws, one 1.7 millimeter Phillips screw, and one 3.1 Phillips screw. Remove the front panel assembly cable bracket from the logic board. Use a plastic opening tool to disconnect the four front panel assembly cables. The front facing camera and sensor cable, the home button cable, the digitizer cable, as well as the LCD cable. Remove the front panel assembly from the rear case. Remove the two screws from the battery bracket. Use the tip of the spudger to disconnect the battery flex cable. Use the flat end of a plastic spudger to disconnect the charge port flex cable. Using the tip of the plastic spudger to disconnect the antenna cable from its socket on the logic board. Remove all of the Phillips screws securing the speaker, vibrator, and charge port.
Remove the vibrator. Remove the microphone brace from the iPhone. Next, remove the lightning port retaining bracket. Use the flat end of a spudger to pry the speaker up and out of the rear case. Using the flat end of the spudger, begin peeling the lightning connector assembly up from the rear case. Carefully pull the lightning connector assembly up slightly to free it from the vibrator and speaker screw posts. Use the flat end of a spudger to push the microphone and headphone jack out of its recess in the rear case. Now remove the charging port. Insert the charge port and line up all components and flex cables back to its previous recess place. Place the vibrator and microphone brace in the device. Insert all Phillips screws to secure the microphone brace, headphone jack, and vibrator into place. Insert the loudspeaker and Phillips screws to secure the speaker to the rear case.
insert the lightning port retaining bracket. Insert the Phillips screws to secure the bracket to the rear case. Connect the antenna cable, charge port, and battery flex to the logic board. Make sure the connections are properly aligned before snapping back into place, and gently push on connectors until they connect. Insert the battery bracket. Insert the two Phillips screws to secure the battery bracket. Insert the LCD cable, the digitizer cable, the home button cable, and the front facing camera and sensor cable. Make sure flex cables are properly aligned before snapping back into place and gently push on connections until they connect. If you have questions related to this repair, please contact Works for assistance. Insert the front panel assembly cable bracket to the logic board. Insert the five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. Holding the LCD at a 20 degree angle, secure the assembly into place by snapping together the latches on top. Run your fingers along the sides, being sure that the assembly slips evenly into the frame. Make sure the new screen sits flush inside the frame. If the frame is bent, do your best to bend it back into shape. 
If you're still having trouble, please contact Works for assistance. Insert the two pentalobe screws next to the lightning connector. If you have questions related to this repair, please contact Works for assistance.